Boom. Boom, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. It's Kinmere coming at you from the corner. All right, we got a little bit of Azure Lane on tap today. So in a video I did a few days ago, it was probably about three or four days ago, I believe it was, I mentioned that the two ships that you wanted to get inside of this event were Shinano and uh, Suzuki, and I did manage to pull both of those this morning. I was getting a little bit worried because if you go into the build screen here, I wasn't going to be able to scrounge up enough, uh, you know, 200 uh, wisdom cubes. I just wasn't going to be able to do it. Even though I have 1,300 uh, gems up here, um, I was still going to need the, the, you know, the biggest kit that you could buy was like 50. So I was still going to come up, you know, about roughly about, you know, 12 or 13 short of having 200 pools. And then even after I did that, I would have absolutely no wisdom cubes whatsoever. So I really wasn't too happy about that in case something else came uh, come up that I wanted uh, to pull for. So fortunately, uh, all for naught, because I pulled both of them at the same time. I did a seven uh, seven uh, pulls this morning, um, that, you know, from the event, and I managed to pull them both. Uh, I got Suzuki on the second one, and the very last one, I pulled uh, Shinano. So let's go ahead and take a look at these here. Let me pull up in the dock. All right, so let's go to favorites here now. So. So this bullion right here, this spe specialized bullion, is the one that you'll use on Shinano to limit break her. I've got her doing the 1200 project along with Suzuki. Uh, so, but to, let, let me talk to you a little. Let's go ahead and take a look at each of them and take a look at their skills. Okay, so let's do an inspect on her. So as you can see, she's pretty good. Um, she's got awesome, you know, the swords right here. Got a whole, you know, the supports for her flight deck. Um, and she's got a little bit of a, so it's a very, extremely, extremely, and then, you know, the prominent um Sakura empire ears cat ears there of course we always have to have that so let's take a look at what makes her you are worthy so to speak so we've first we've got hopes tempest and this is three seconds after the battle starts launches a uh, cyan recon flight when this ship launches an airstrike launches an additional level one shijin kai two uh Rusei or a cyan airstrike saiyans do not attack but decrease the firepower torpedo an anti-air of one random enemy. Um, humans prioritized by 3% uh, in increased damage, uh, and it damage they take by 3% to the battery. And so this is an extremely good buff that's gonna be assisting in a damage increase and uh, a decrease in the damage that you take. So it's very, very good. It's a good skill, okay? But just, you know, that does not, alone would not make her UR equivalent. What makes, what I think is this one right here. It's Dream Maker's Bow. It says, every 15 seconds it fires a level 1 special barge. During the first and second battles this ship fights in during a sortie. Increases the ship's AVI by 5%. That's dynamic so that's going to increase as the the skill level goes up. Okay, but here's what really is good is this when this fleet this ship is not in starts It's third fourth and fifth battles of sortie launches a level one and that goes up as the level goes up Airstrike 15 seconds after the battle starts. So she's going to be assisting you with an airstrike Even if she's not the fleet that you're playing So if you, you know as you take as you, you take two fleets into the level um, So even when you're using the other fleet that she's not in she's still going to be assisting that fleet even though you're not playing her which is excellent uh and that and then she's also got a third skill and this is the one that really seals the deal right here except while this ship is afloat increases the firepower evasion and anti-sub warfare of your dds by five percent okay so a straight firepower evasion uh, and anti-sub warfare if the fleet this ship is in contains three or more Sakura Empire ships, it decreases the damage this ships take from main guns and aircraft by 8% and increases the aviation area accuracy by 5% for all your Sakura Empire CVs. So this right here um, it is, is the clincher right here. So the, it, we're going to see Suzuki skills here shortly, and they're going to add into this. But you see the fact that now you've got, you can have two buffs in your back line. You've got Nagato the flagship and she could deal out uh, you know a tremendous buff and then you've got Shinano who can also deal out a tremendous buff and they don't they don't conflict with each other um, they're slightly different buffs uh, doing different things so this is an excellent reason to have her so 
you know, this it this is good for me because I don't have a Kagi. I've been unable to get her. Um, I've got Kaga, but I don't have a Kagi. So I was looking for something in the backfield. Um, and, and now I have Op. I can put, you know, Nagato in the center and, and, and wing her with Shinano. And then I can put anything else in the other one. But you want to put a, a carrier in the other slot simply because of Shinano's buff on the aviation stat. Aviation stat is how carriers do their damage. So that's the stat that you want to be focusing on on a carrier. So you definitely want to have a second carrier. But I can put Kaga on the side. Or I can put, you know, I've got several. I got the other carriers, you know, two other carriers from uh, uh, Division 7. So I can put something up there. So I don't, you know, I've got like four, three or four carriers from uh, the, uh, you know, the security empire that I could put in place. Uh, that would, you know, that would make uh, an excellent wing for that. So that's what I was looking at. But th the reason that you wanted to go for Suzuki was simply because of the fact that she does excellent things too. Now she's a destroyer, so she's frontline. So she's going to get that buff um, from Shinano's DD increase. She's going to get that firepower evasion uh, anti sub warfare buff. From her but look at her skill that she's got okay so increases this ship's firepower and aviation by one percent and that's dynamics that I go up um, as you increase the level for each Sakura Empire ship in the same fleet as this ship so if you if you put her in a fleet that's got all Sakura Empire she's going to see a huge increase in her firepower okay and then when an air, enemy aircraft is shot down within your fleet the entire game adds one stack of this buff and it can stack up to six times. So this could be a serious thing. She could be dealing with some serious damage. Okay. Compare that with her stat line, which is pretty good for a destroyer as well. And here's the second one, and this is even better. It says, so, so it's Suzuki causing confusion. Three seconds after the battle starts and every 15 seconds after that, it fires a special barrage and has a 15% chance to deploy a smoke screen for five seconds. That increases the evasion rate by 20% for all ships in it. Okay, there's the key. And the barrage damage is based on the skill level and the first smoke steam is guaranteed to deploy. Once per battle when this ship HP falls below 20%, heals this ship for 5% HP. Okay, so two excellent skills um, combined with an above stat line part makes her one of the best destroyers um, in the game because destroyers always have the weakness of, of getting destroy first that's just the way they go um th this this she's getting multiple buffs from multiple ships and she's got buffs herself so this is what makes her one of the best destroyers in the game uh so you definitely want to get your hands on her so but yeah those are two very important ships now those are the two that you want to get the other ships are nice kamano kashino shatoshi they're all nice but these are just collector ships um Casino might mean something in the future, as being that she's you know the first munition ship, but in terms of right now, she's just not anything to uh, you know to uh, you know jump up for joy about. She's just you know not that you know not that good, but she's got some you know she got some special equipment that she can carry to give some buffs if needed. So maybe in the siren event that they're going to have at the end of this year, maybe maybe there'll be a special thing where having a munition ship will give you an extra added benefit. But as for right now. Just purely from stats and what she offers, um, uh, I, I, you know, she's not not that useful. I'm going to go ahead and level her up, and as you can see I've got her uh, limit broke almost to full. But uh, yeah, so we'll just see what she's got. But Shinado and Suzuki are two troops that you definitely want to go for because uh, they are game changers in terms of your IGN fleet. So I can now I can now flank. Um, you know, I can have Nagato of course in the back, and. Um, Put, you know, I could put uh, Shinado, of course, on the wing. And then the other wing, I can put, you know, Shukaku really goes, Shukaku has a skill that melds with uh, uh, Zukaku. So those two are really go together. So you'd be losing a skill if you actually used one of those. So Akaga's the same way. I think she has a sister skill. I uh, forget yeah, this first character went sort of with an Akagi. So she's not going to get that because, so that leaves her with one. So. Uh, the lead would probably end up being Yuho. Um, Yuho is uh, generic in terms of what she does, um, but she does have some excellent buffs. She's an excellent carrier, okay, and she actually um, access torpedoes, decreases damage from torpedoes, 
and then uh, so she's this she's going to give a uh, whenever you're SS, she's going to give a buff, a little bit of buff to the submarines in your fleet, which is going to be good for the uh, for the uh, the siren event that's coming up. So it's also good in this. So I'll probably end up going with you. I've already got her fully limit broke. I just got to level her up. But so I'll probably just do you know Nagato and the Nagato is the battleship. She'll be in the center, um, and then Shinano and uh, Yuho on the wings is tentatively what I'm looking at at this point. So, but yeah, and then front line, of course, I can use anyone. I've got all the I've got all the main chips for the uh, Sakura fleet for the front line. Not missing anything. Uh, missing anything. You know, I've got uh, Omagi, Otago, Takeo. I've got all those ships, so I shouldn't have any trouble. Coming up with a uh, extremely good um, front line for Vanguard for the actual fleet. So yeah, so I just wanted to come out with that video just to show everyone that uh, that I did get the ships and we're going to be working through them. So you'll be seeing now that I've got something to do my IGN as soon as I finish up um, the German fleet that I'm working on right now, I'll be able to start. I'll be able to start showing uh, working on my IGN fleet. And uh, we'll make up a fleet and see how they go, uh, and get you know compromised because I've got you know I've got uh, so I've got an HMS fleet, I've got a USS fleet, and now I, I've got uh, an Iron Blood fleet, and now I have an IGN fleet. So that'll be the ones that I'm focusing on right now. Um, I'm still getting you know hovering in close on FDG, you know still still got a ways to go on her, but I'm getting close. So I've got the second data collection. Uh, I'm almost halfway through 47% so I've got about 1.2 million more to get and I'll be able to actually um, craft her uh, and I'm right, saving up some of the blueprints for her uh, that's a good thing to make sure that if you do got you know you want to look in here in terms of because you can get blueprints right here for her so these can be used on any series 2 or 3 ships which is uh, she is series 2 so that works out excellent so but yeah so I just wanted to do the video drop it let everybody know I did get her I know my last video uh, I stressed those two ships and I was just really felt really lucky um, to get them because I really wasn't looking good I mean I really wasn't I kept getting a lot of the same ships like I got I said I probably got I've got two Chiodas I got an extra Chinos uh, I've got a couple of casinos as you can see uh, these you know bringing these ships up uh, but I wasn't and then I was getting a lot of other stuff like Suffolk and I was getting those ships it wasn't getting the ships that I was looking for um, but then you know this morning you know changed everything almost immediately just on those seven pools um, I got you know Shinano and Suzuki so that changed the whole um, changed the whole direction to go now uh, I'm glad I didn't waste Glad I didn't waste a lot of my um, my gems on actually, you know, buying some of the packages because I had some packs in here. The pack I was looking at, uh, which pack was it? I think it had it had. Yeah, this was the one I was uh, um, looking at seriously. I was going to get this one uh, two days before. I was going to get this one if need be. You know, if the day before the event ended, I was going to get this one to pull once some more. And then if I didn't get it, I was going to have to purchase this one, which means that I had to shout out some more money to purchase some more gems to do it. Um, and it was really way, way more than I wanted to spend just for one ship. But if I wanted to get her, that was what I was going to have to do. And then that's changed all that today. Because the build rate is not very high for her. Um, it's 1.2%. You know, so it is, you know, it is. But I've got pretty much, you know, uh, I've got Kashino, Suzuki. So Key is in the shop. So I've got all the ships on the front. Um, and I will have, I am going to get Key, but like I say, um, she's not one of the ships that I was focusing on. Suzuki and Shinano are clearly the two best ships from this event. So those are the two you need to focus on. Once you've got those two, you're good to go. Um, and none of the other ships, you can just get them for collectors, you know, the collectability. But uh, it may be something in the future if they ever got a retrofit that would make them really nice. But as of right now, there's just, you know, that, you know, they're, um, they're, they're, you know, they're carriers. The, the, you know, Sakura Empire, this has a lot of carriers. So there's really not another need for another two. I mean, the, the skill sets are okay. Um, but, you know, uh, it's just, you know, 
they 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 would add a little bit, but they don't add nearly enough to warrant replacing them with um, you know Shinano's a lot better. Nakago's the flagship. You have to have her. The buff she throws is just completely um, completely overpowered. So you definitely want to have her. So that only leaves one slot. And I could fill that easily with another uh, carrier who's got more uh, more addition to the fleet. So, yeah, I, I mean, if you don't have any characters, you might want to do something with them. Um, maybe you could, uh, you know, if you want to look, you could maybe if you don't have Nagato, maybe you could do, you know, Shinano as the flagship and throw these two in. Because they would get a buff from her because she does have a carrier buff. So they would get a buff from her. So Shinano is the flagship and then these two flanking her on either side. Uh, would be you know would be something that you could think about doing um which I, which is i'm sure the reason why they probably came out with two new carriers um is to, is to give you know to give her something to you know, throw the buff at but you could easily just do you could do shinano in the in as the flagship and then you could flank her with zukaku and shikaku if you wanted to uh, or you could you know if you didn't want to use if you don't have nagato nagato of course is a build only ship um, she's not offered any other way. You have to wait until that event comes around, which was just recently out. I think like last month is when they had the event up. So if you still if you didn't get her there, and you still don't have her, then and you can manage to get your hands on Shinano, then you can use her as the flagship because she does throw you know she does throw a buff, uh, pretty good buffs uh, on carriers. So definitely uh, definitely would receive that. But there there's just better options at this point. I mean, you should be you should be able to get your hands on Zukaku and Shikaku. Um, you shouldn't have any trouble getting those two. Um, they're, they're you know they're not you know the they're buildable. Uh, and some I think you can get one of them, I think you can get one or two of them but playing the levels. I mean, I've gotten several of them. I've got them both. You know, uh, so you can you should be able to throw together. I mean, you you've also got uh, you know you've got Yujo and then you've got you, there's two other characters that, carriers I think that you could that are out as well. So the Sakura Empire is not lacking for carriers, uh, and most of them are SR carriers as well too. So these two are only epic. So that there is that to, that to think of as well. So, but you know they're not bad. But in terms of uh, others out there, uh, there are better. But get them, okay? Get them. You don't have to worry about limit breaking them. Don't waste your bullets or anything on it. But you know, get them. Throw some levels onto them so that if if they do become something that's you know specialized. In, in, in the end of the event, the end of the year Siren event, which is still in beta, um, then you'll be able to, you, you can use them uh, in terms of, you know, uh, going for that, because that's what this event is. I, I'm really sure that's why they came out with Kashino. She's got to play some part in it. Uh, and it wouldn't surprise me if, if these these three ships, as well as Suzuki and Ki and Kamai, if they all play some type of role in in the you know in the event okay because this is a whole new setup here um you know with it with the ur ship um two new carriers uh dropped with that ship um you know you've got you've got basically what you need to build a fleet here you've got uh Suzuki, uh kumano uh and you've got key which is in the actual shop so to get key all you've got to do is go to your shop munitions uh, in the event, and you'll see Key right here. I can actually purchase her right now. She is S. She is an SR as well. Okay, so you know, uh, battle starts, chance to fire level one special barrage. Damage is based on a skill level, so she fires a special barrage. Um, while this ship is afloat, increases anti-air by five. Cap for your if the ship is, contains three or more Sakura Empire ships, increases the ship's firepower by one. Cap to ten increases your Vanguard's torpedo by one. So as you can see, um, she's got you know she she melds in with the team. You've got a full Sakura team right here, um, with you know with you got all the you got three Vanguard units, um, three uh, backline, and then you've got the, the munition ship. So you've got a whole, you know, got a whole kit there, so to speak. So it, it, it has to be, you know, it has to be, they might have, they might play some part, which is why you don't want to neglect them, which is why you want to try to get them all. But just in terms of straight stats and skills, Shinano and Suzuki are the two that you want to get because they, they have real value and can, and can be immediately added to your fleet once you get them leveled up at Limit Broker Force. Okay? So thanks a lot for watching.
Uh, and go ahead and put a like on it if you like it. And remember to subscribe to my channel. Once you've subscribed, you'll see the bell. If you click on the bell, you'll get notified each time I drop a video. So, this is Kid Rear coming at you from the corner, signing out.